What's goody shell draw here the most woke no joke and I'm back at again with a brand new video and I'm gonna keep it a bow berry biscuit. This is actually some pretty interesting news right here. Uh just very recently, you know we've gonna be going through the OTA and the mini camp process. Well, obviously a lot of players on the team have been getting interviewed and talking about, you know, the, the position on the team, how they feel about the upcoming season, and for a lot of the veterans they're talking about, you know, how they feel about the next upcoming years for them, not just this year, but possibly the future and what they think about uh, themselves and the team and their role in the upcoming years. And two very interesting people that, the, that we've been interviewing are Thomas Davis Sr. and Julius Peppers, both who are saying that they want to continue playing after this year, which is kind of wild because first off, Julius Peppers is 38 and Thomas Davis Sr. is 35, I believe. And first off, I don't, I don't, I don't know how much. I mean, Julius Pepper seems to never age. I mean, this dude is on, on, on a level. He's still playing at a level where you have to say, if he says he can play, you put him in the lineup and tell him I trust you because this man is not. He's not missed a step in any sort of way. Uh, but Thomas Davis Senior, we all know about him. I mean, this was probably going to be his last year, and then the whole uh, PED four-game suspension news came up about a month or maybe two months ago and he had that Twitter video where he admitted to it and he said look this may not be my last year after all and I feel like he wants to prove not just to not just to fans but also kind of to himself that he can still play and have a positive impact on the team and let's be real Thomas Davis Sr. is already gonna be in the in the conversation for one of the best Panthers players of all time so, I mean, he has nothing really to honestly prove to, to anyone because this guy came back from three ACL surgeries. But I really think that he doesn't want to end his career on a four-game suspension uh, for PED usage, which, if we want to be 100% honest with each other here, let's, let's be 100% honest. It ain't looking too good. His excuse about estrogen blockers and whatnot. Look, but the thing about Thomas Davis Sr. is, as opposed to Julius Peppers staying another year, Thomas Davis has seemed to take a a step back. I mean, look at his stats here. Uh, in 2016, he had he had. Well, let's just go like this. From 2012 to to 2016, he's been averaging about 75, maybe even 77 tackles a a year, uh, getting about two to three. Let's say an average of about three or four uh, sacks a year. And doing some good work in the secondary in 2015, he had four interceptions, uh, seven passes defended, and four forced fumbles. In 2016, he had three interceptions for uh, four passes defended and one forced fumble with uh, one and two four fumble recoveries, respectively. But last year, he had no there was there was no sort of uh, coverage stats for him. He had no passes defended, no interceptions, uh, no forced fumbles. I mean, one fumble recovered. But honestly, there was, there was nothing in the nothing in the uh, in the in the way of any kind of coverage. Nothing in the way of any sort of you know big hit fumble fumbles forced. Uh, and he only he had a two and a half sacks last year, which wasn't bad. But the the biggest thing for me is that he was he had a five six year stretch where he was averaging seventy five to eighty ta uh, tackles a season. And last year he only got twenty five or he got fifty two. I'm sorry, he got fifty two tack tackles total, which for the being the guy who has the the most uh, being the, sec the, the the second piece of the best two t two part uh, middle linebacker core in the league or one two punch linebacker core in the league, it doesn't do so good to see a twenty tackle drop off in twenty seventeen. So I'm not. I mean, compare that to Julius Peppers, who and this is this is a this is a Thomas Davis who started every single game he played last year. Compared to, to Julius Peppers, who only started five of the 16 games last year, he had 21 tackles, and 11 of those were sacks. So even though he's not playing, I don't know what his snap count was exactly, but he's not playing a ton of snaps. But when Julius Peppers is on the field, he makes moves. He's, he, he, his impact is felt every single place on the field. Because, I mean, 21 tackles and 11 of them were sacks. That's disgusting. And it's going off his his career. I mean, he has he has what is it, five hundred forty three tackles on his career, three hundred thirty of them with us. But let's go off with just his Carolina stats. He has he has six interceptions, 
and two of them are for touchdowns, which is wild for a defensive end. I mean, I don't want to get into all of what he's done, what he's done, but 46 passes defended, 30, 32 forced fumbles, nine fumble recoveries, and one uh, fumble recovery for a touchdown. For a down lineman to have more interceptions for touchdowns than fumble recoveries for touchdowns, that's wild to me. So, I mean, and th he's 38. This is, this is what, his his 14th, 15th season in the league? So, I think that Julius Peppers is still, he can still give us some pretty good, if not great production uh, with a with a limited snap count because he's still a fear, an extremely feared guy on the line. Those people's tackles, unless you have an you have an, an elite tackle, you're not going to be blocking Julius Peppers on a on a snap count. We can keep him uh, with Marquise Haynes as well. I mean, we can switch those two out. I I mean, those are two two guys we can really uh, have a good one two punch for for speed pass rushing and. Really making making quarterbacks and and O line coaches really have the game plan for the Panthers on defense. So I can I can definitely see Julius Peppers coming back for one more year after this. I don't know if I see two more years, but Thomas Davis Senior. I mean, he says he feels very confident. He says that he feels like during the OTAs and uh, mini camp process, he thinks he's proven without a doubt he can uh, still play this game at a high level. Which I mean, I want to see him do it. In a full speed game, but I, I still have faith in Thomas Davis Senior, and I think he can still play one more after this year. But I'm a, I'm a little bit more confident in Julius Peppers playing at 39 than I am at with uh, Thomas Davis Senior playing at 36. But let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think Thomas Davis Senior or Julius Peppers has a more of a shot of having a bigger impact for the team on defense in an in an additional year? How do you think they're gonna do this year for this upcoming year? Let me know in the comments below. You already know to do that like button. I got a button right here to subscribe. A button right here for you to watch more videos. Namaste. Back sooner than you think.